movie about the 17th century pepper trade. But I really want to write one. And I know it's not going to make a lot of money, and I know a lot of people aren't going to go to see it, but um, I really want to do it. Like, I feel it's something important to say, or it's something that's really meaningful to me, or it seems really beautiful. Um, and I think awards can make that more possible, because sometimes the producers will be like, yeah, maybe we're not going to make so much money uh, with this Eric's movie about the pepper tree in the 1600s. But we might win an award, so it, <laughs> it gives them something else to another incentive, I suppose. You might also use awards to reward courage, you know, that everyone is like, oh, you know, this is a, a theme of whatever, racial justice. And people usually don't like to be confronted with things that are critical they rather enjoy themselves uh so it's a risky move if you're a producer or a writer to morally criticize your society um so if you run that risk people can award you an award to praise you for running that risk uh in the same way that i guess medals I've never been in the military, but, you know, medals in the military are supposed to award valor. Now, I don't think people are, you know, doing courageous things just to get a medal. <laughs> That'd be a strange person. But it's not a bad thing once they've done the courageous thing to acknowledge it. You know, I think there's a sort of a, a human need, you know, we're social animals, so there's a human need to be acknowledged by people who we care about. Yeah. Okay, sir. So, like, uh, uh, I have a question related to Big Bang Theory again. So, uh, do you have any favorite character? You obviously would have a favorite character. Who is it and why? Yeah, I like Amy because she's uh, always looking on the bright side of things. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, sorry. So, have you ever thought of uh, what would your career options be if you're not a writer or a producer? Yeah, I have. I think I would probably be a computer programmer. I mean, okay. it's not, I was thinking I would, be, I would like to be a philosophy teacher, but it's very difficult to get those jobs. So, I don't think I would have been able to actually get such a job. So, I think I probably would be a computer programmer, honestly. Uh, can you like uh, briefly explain the reason behind that? Like why a computer program? Well, you know, it's a job that you need a lot. There's a great need for computer programmers. So I think if you're if you're willing to do the the work to learn how to do it, you probably can get a job doing it. And I find it interesting. I like. I, I mean, I never have done it professionally at all. I study basic when I was in high school and I liked it and, and I like logic. Um, so, um, I, and I, if I, if I had to, and I know there's a great need for coding. So I, I think just sort of realistically, if I couldn't have gotten a job writing and I couldn't get a job teaching, uh, which are probably like my the two things that I've done. I probably would be uh, coding. Okay, great. So, um, can you tell us about a typical day on a show in the Big Bang Theory set? Like we have seen a lot of behind the scenes, but uh, we would like to hear from you. Uh, from you. Well, so there are two tasks. Big picture, there are two tasks. There's writing the script and producing the script. So probably on a typical day, we're doing both. So the writing means what would be a good story. Uh, if there is a good story, what would happen in it, um, then writing the script. So that has to happen, and that has to happen you know, ahead of time. You cannot really be writing 
the script while you're shooting it. And then there's the producing of the script that is in production. And that involves um, a table read where the actors come and read it around a table. They have the scripts and then a series of rehearsals. And then on the final day, putting up before the live studio audience. And along each of these, you have to see what works and what doesn't work. 